This is the difference between using seed mats and not using seed mats. These things were planted three days apart. They're all tomatoes and vegetables, herbs, that, that kind of stuff, you know. Um, but the difference is quite remarkable. I used to be the person that poo-pooed using seed mats, but it really increases germination. This speaks for itself. These were planted on the 17th. And they are almost two inches tall. Can't beat it. After they've grown this tall, we're dropping the lights down. And we're going to put them just right above them so they don't get leggy. And we are going to uh, move these two trays over here. And... Uh, put those over here because we're germinating uh, the seeds and these things uh, will be okay. It stays a nice balmy 68 degrees down here in the bunker and I don't have any heat on except for the grow lights which generate a little bit and the two seed mats. Why do I not have enough seed mats? I, I didn't buy any this year uh, and I am out of play money. So I have to wait till next month and maybe buy two more uh, seed mats. They make them in uh, sizes that fit this tray. They make them also in tabletop sizes, two feet by four feet. Think of stuff like that. If that is something that you're doing a lot of planting, and I will probably uh, do a lot of planting like that. Think about that. Anyway, more time. Okay, guys. Okay, guys, now we're back and wasn't hard at all. Remember, uh, once they germinate, that's when they really need uh, the full spectrum lights. And you can, you can geek out on all the different uh, spectrums and colors and the wavelengths and all that and uh, enjoy it. Uh, look at it. I've done it before and really got off into it or I just bought the bulbs and did everything and just left them to it. If you watched the prior video on how expensive everything is, uh, Dead Buck did uh, post a, a really good comment and I have to uh, tip my hat and commend him for that. Prices reflect where you are shopping. That was at Walmart in Chattanooga, Tennessee. I was at, when I'm home, we go to our local uh, little uh, country grocery stores and everything to where we buy stuff where they barter with uh, the farmer who lives down the road, brings it in, sells it for them, and that, you know they all get a little piece of it and everything. And it might not be that much of a difference in price. It might be the same price, but I know where I'm getting that stuff from as opposed to buying bell peppers from Mexico or someplace that I don't know what was put on the ground or the plant. Just food for thought, pun intended. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna wrap this video up. I appreciate you coming along. It's just gonna be a real short thing. Uh, is it time to plant in my area? No, not quite, not quite. Uh, it's actually 29 degrees outside right now, and we are getting a whole bunch of seeds started. Um, like I said, some of them I sell, some of them I give away. Uh, some of them I trade a plant for a pack of seeds. It's reasonable. Go buy uh, a pack of good high quality seeds and trade me for uh, two tomato plants. Something like that. Um, two tomato plants are about four bucks each. And a pack of seeds is about four bucks. So, it is a win-win actually in my eyes. So, take care of you people.